Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Thursday, September 22nd. The confession of sin is found on page 12. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no help in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O oh most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Venite. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepare the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. We'll now have the psalm reading and the New Testament reading from Hebrews. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 59, which begins on page 342 in your prayer book. Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Defend me from those who rise up against me. O deliver me from the evildoers. And save me from the bloodthirsty. For behold, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me without any offense or fault of mine, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without cause. Arise, therefore, to help me, and behold. Rise up, O Lord God of hosts, O God of Israel, to visit all the nations. And be not merciful to those who offend with malicious wickedness. They go to and fro in the evening. They howl like dogs and run about through the city. Behold, they boast with their mouths and taunts are on their lips. For they say, who will hear us? But you, O Lord, shall hold them in derision. And you shall laugh all the nations to scorn. My strength I will ascribe unto you. For you are the God of my refuge. God shows me his plenteous goodness. And God shall let me look in triumph upon my enemies. Slay them not lest my people forget it. But scatter them abroad by your might and put them down, O Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and for the words of their lips, they shall be taken in their pride. Because their talk is cursing and lies. Consume them in your wrath. Consume them that they may perish. And know that it is God who rules in Jacob and unto the ends of the world. In the evening they will return howl like dogs and run about through the city they will run here and there for meat and growl if they are not satisfied as for me i will sing of your power and will praise your mercy early in the morning for you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble unto you O my strength will i sing for you are god are my refuge and my merciful god Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The New Testament reading is um, 
from the Epistle to the Hebrews, beginning with the 11th chapter, the first verse. By faith. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. But for by it, the people of old received their commendation. By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain, through which he was commended as righteous, God commending him by accepting his gifts. And through his face, faith, though he died, he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was not bound because God had taken him. Now before he was taken, he was commended as having pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned by God concerning events as yet unseen, in reverent fear, constructed an ark for the saving of his household. By this, he condemned the world and became an heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he went to live in the land of promise as in a foreign land living in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city that has foundations, whose designer and builder is God. By faith, Sarah herself received power to conceive even when she was past the age, since she considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man and him as good as dead, were born descendants as many as the stars of heaven and as many as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. These all died in faith, not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. For people who speak thus make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of that land from which they had gone out, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. And he who was, and he who had received the promises, was in the act of offering up his only son of whom it was said, through Isaac shall your offspring be named. He considered that God was able even to raise him from the dead, from which, figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. By faith, Isaac invoked future blessings on Jacob and Esau. By faith, Jacob, when dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph, <clears throat> bowing in worship over the head of his staff. By faith, Joseph, at the end of his life, made mention of the exodus of the Israelites and gave directions concerning his bones. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle assigned for today is found in your prayer book on page 84. It's a cantate domino. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his own right hand and with his holy arm, he has won for himself the victory. The Lord declared his salvation, his righteousness he has openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and truth toward the house of Israel. And all the ends of the world have seen the salvation of our God. Show yourselves joyful unto the Lord, all you lands. Sing, rejoice, and give thanks. Praise the Lord with the harp. Sing with the harp a psalm of thanksgiving. With trumpets also and horns, 
and show yourselves joyful before the Lord, the King. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the round world and those that dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills be joyful together before the Lord, for he has come to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And on page 20, the Apostles' Creed <clears throat> together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again and ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. O Lord, you have taught us that without love, all our deeds are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of charity, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We'll now have a time for intercessory prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for this day. We thank you that you are God and we are not. We lift up our voices together and ask that you would continue to bless um, our diocese, our bishop and the, his staff, and all the priests and deacons who have been called to serve, as well as those who are feeling called to plant churches. Lord, I especially lift up the Synod, which is coming up in November, um, all the logistics that need to happen, people getting down to Mexico, passports, all the things that could be stumbling blocks to bring our people together in order to worship you and do the business that you have given us to do. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we, we lift up to you all, all the works and workings that are going on in this diocese. We thank you that you lead us and guide us and whisper in the heart of our bishop, and lead him as he discerns uh, the things that we should be focused on. And I, especially in addition to the synod, I especially lift up to you 
uh, our women's quiet day, our women's retreat that's going to take place on the 29th of October here at Christ the King. I ask yeah. that you would uh, bless Trish for agreeing to lead us on that day and bring her team with her. And I ask that you would put a covering of protection and guidance over that day, that you will bring uh, all the women possible, that you clear their calendars, make it possible for them to come and let us be together in quiet, um, have a day of refreshing and um, peace and mm -hmm. filling up, fill us up to overflowing Lord and show us let us know the things that you would have us be about to your purposes. Fill Christ the King with your power. Fill the women of this diocese with your power and your leading. And then send us out to do your will. Lord, we ask you for your continued guidance as um, the um, committee that's going through the discernment process of, of potential new leadership, new deacons, new priests are coming in. Um, God, would you guide them all, um, even guide the, the potential candidates that are sensing your call on their life toward um, full-time ministry mm -hmm. as, as, as mm -hmm. pastors. Um, would you lead the right leadership into the diocese? Um, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the church plants. Thank you for the international uh, churches that you've made north of the border and south of the border. Just pray that your kingdom will continue to grow. And thank you for this diocese, Lord. A prayer of St. John Christostom. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. As you have promised through your well-beloved son, that when two or three are gathered together in his name, we will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.